Hey guys, today we're going to be going, yeah, I have a special guest that's, I don't think you've been on my channel, like not vlog wise for a while, huh? You have a channel? <laughs> Sounds like our first date. You're a what now? Um, today we're going to be going over some items that we're pretty stoked about using for baby, things that I've gotten, Got we got a baby shower. Um, we were super lucky to have an extremely large amount of gifts brought to the baby shower. Um, everyone was super, super generous, so we have some really rad things. So I kind of wanted to go through my top favorites, his top favorites, and I've got a little pile going on over here. I'm gonna try and breeze through everything so it's not like this video is only three hours long. Um, we got but, some good stuff. Just a yeah. couple of the big, big ones and some kick-ass things. He was pretty funny. He was like, oh man, like people got us some like really good stuff. And I was like, do you know how many hours of research I did for that exact thing that we got? <laughs> like, yes, they get credit too because they bought it, but. <laughs> oh, no way. We got one of those. It's exactly what we wanted. Like... <laughs> oh, the color's cool too. You're welcome. Uh, I get the... my eyes rolled at me a lot. <laughs> um you don't even see half of it either. <laughs> Being a first time mom, it's like, I feel like everything is just so confusing and there's just a lot going on and you don't know what's good. You rely on reviews. So hopefully this video will help you guys if you are a first time mom or you're not and you just wanna experience some new products. So let's get into it. Um, also a special thank you to Mockingbird for sponsoring today's video. Mocking. <laughs> um, Bird. <laughs> Sorry, I left you hanging on that one. Uh, picking out a stroller was definitely pretty crazy for me. I was like looking and there's just a lot of different options and there were some things that I knew that I wanted um, and that I like loved. So we'll talk about that when we get there, but let's go ahead and get started. Some of the things that I'm gonna talk about too are like not just for baby, but like pre baby and like postpartum as well. So that starts, let's start this off with Freedom Mom. This is the um, upside down Perry bottle. This, do you know what I'm this is? I'm very excited about that. Do you know what this is? Uh-huh. What is it? Uh, it's a simple portable. Uh... <laughs> this is basically so you don't have to wipe after you give birth and you put warm water in it. You can put like, I think you can put some like witch hazel and stuff in it and you squirt it down there to That's rinse yourself off. a little handheld bidet. Basically, this I was told over and over and over again I needed to get and don't make the mistake of wiping, so I'm super stoked to have this. The Mockingbird Stroller is one of our favorites. Um, I, yeah, some specific things that I knew that he needed is nice, big, rugged wheels that we could kind of do any terrain with. So that was one thing. And then I knew that I wanted to have children kind of, not back to back, but we're definitely gonna have another one soonish. We're gonna have a lot of kids, so. Let's not talk logistics just yet. Let's worry about <laughs> this one and the stroller and the stuff. Okay, yeah. so I love that there is a way that you can have a double stroller so we can turn our Mockingbird stroller into a double stroller and have the carriage in the front and then another seat there. Um, this also has like 19 different um, seat configurations, which is really rad. Um, I loved the carriage idea because I really like like old school looking strollers. I think they're super rad. Um, I'm big on function. You're big on form. <laughs> together is basically All -encompassing. Mockingbird stroller. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. yeah. But I dig it though, it's rad. Um, and actually today, if you guys are going to um, be grabbing one for yourself, you can use the code Kristen Gift and you'll get a free cup holder. We're pretty big on cup holders and like everything, so. Fire engines, cars, strollers, wagons. bikes, wagons. Everything. Tonight we have an additional guest with us. <laughs> Meet Joseph. Half his body. Hi, Joseph. Say hi to the camera. Another thing that I really love about the stroller is how easy it is to like break down and just put the brakes on. And like you can do most of it like with one hand, which is awesome. You can like hold a baby and work the thing and do all the things. Another thing that was super important to me was being able to take our car seat and put it right into the stroller. So there are, um, 
uh, there's a way that you can put, like there's a handful of stroller or uh, car seats that you that work and are compatible with the Mockingbird. So you can just take your car seat and plop it right in there and clicks right in. And then if your baby's sleeping, when you get to the car, you can just pop it out and put it back in the car. So that was kind of like one of the big things for me. I remember being little and Karen always taking Rebecca, my little sister, having to pull her out of her car seat and bring her inside or like put her in a stroller. And it's just so nice that you can just like take your car seat and pop it right into the stroller. I'd say it's easy as one, two, three, but it's literally like one, like click. That's yeah. It. It's, it's like all it's interchangeable, compatible, easy. very, very nice, very simple and easy. It's got a lot of storage, which is really great too for some of the items that I'm going to go over in a little bit um, underneath. And then there's like a little thing that hangs from the, um, the, uh, uh, Handle. Handle, thank you. Also, another really cool thing about that is the handle actually moves. And you mentioned that because you're obviously taller than I am. And oh, so yeah. you can move the handle up a little bit. So great functionality. It also like looks really nice. I love the pink features on it. So um, Mockingbird is definitely blowing us away. I'm pretty excited to actually like use it with the baby. I wanted to put Joseph in it just to test it out, but I don't think he'd like that very much. <laughs> this cat loves this man, like could give less about me, loves him. Okay, next we're talking about diaper bags. And luckily, <laughs> we have been so lucky to get gifted a bunch of diaper bags. I have heard amazing things about this one. And it's really funny because one day he texted me and he was like, hey, uh, my friend, um, she's a fire wife. She owns a diaper bag company. And I was like, oh, send it to me. Like, I'll check it out. And he's like, you can pick one out. And I was like, oh, cool opened it and it was fawn design and i've heard about them before and i'm sure you guys have too and he was like one of my like medic mentors when i was going through medic school yeah and, and his wife randomly created... hit us up and was like hey dude you should check out our diaper bag and they sent us one so thanks josh and megan that was rad yeah and i like it it's cool so um it's super hot on me <laughs> it's faux leather there's a lot of storage in here there's almost even like an ipad kind of looking um area here there's pockets in the side there's a zipper um and it has like just like what was this for a baby bottle mm -hmm. baby or bottle mom, mom bottle or whatever beer yeah. um changing yeah. clutch all sorts of good stuff here um the only thing that i'm a little worried about is it feels really heavy and it's not even really loaded with anything yet. I think it's very like so, high quality. Like it feels very durable. I will well, say. Well, I also that. have a bunch of like accessories in here too. Yeah. But um, I know that this is on the pricier side for some people. So um, you know, I did find some dupes on Amazon. If you really like this look but can't afford the price tag that comes with this one, it is also vegan uh, leather, so faux leather, which is really rad. So I'd like to talk about one of my favorite items. Uh, this is a Huggies. Uh, Newborn, I believe. Our doula brought it over. Sweet gift. Um, Double sessa. Oh, sorry. It's a one. Fits perfectly around a pint glass. Keeps my beer nice and cold. And uh, apparently holds piss and poop in too. <laughs> and your condensation. Here is another um, diaper bag that we got. This is the Hap brand. And I love how easily accessible all your stuff is inside. Again, tons of like nooks and crannies <laughs> and spots to put things Couple like your pint glass. Um, also has like a bunch of good storage inside. Really love this um, material as well. And they also sent me this little guy for like a smaller one. So we are uh, killing it in the diaper bag game. We'll see which ones we like the best and maybe I'll have to do like an update video at some point. This next item you think is gonna be like the most usable used thing. So ugh. this, we have everything in packaging still because we're still doing construction in here. And he almost <laughs> smacked me in the head with this. Um, we're still doing construction here. It's like super dusty. What is this called, this pattern? tie-dye your favorite uh, really yeah oh well it's cool this is a dock -a tot um and inside here is another item i thought i would do two in one here is like a little head shaper pillow so that you don't get the babies uh you don't make their head super flat from not turning them or whatever it like distributes the pressure yeah more evenly and yeah. it's like rounded or something so I was told that this is like a must have. And again, this is a very high price tag and you know, it, it just, a lot of baby stuff is. So 
if this isn't um, within your budget, Nick said you could probably buy a, a dog bed and it would do the same thing. So, <laughs> maybe. Super fun. Yeah, I think that this is gonna be cool because I think we're just gonna put it in between us in the bed. Co-sleeping, yeah, we haven't and really then, decided. And like you, like you, I won't be worried about like rolling over on it because it's like a pillow here, like you'll feel it. She can't roll around, like. I think it's safe and everybody actually I've, I've talked to a few people that are like this is like this is the move yeah so I there's know. this one and then a snuggle me and i was going back and forth and couldn't decide which one to get so this thing that we got um it's basically like a rolling like bassinet um with some storage underneath and it's over here so we'll put some footage on on screen but basically the reason why I really liked it is because I really like the color scheme. I love that it has roll uh, wheels. I can like roll it. I feel like I imagine myself like cooking in the kitchen and just like rolling her in. Well, it'd be nice in the, to be, un leave her like undisturbed, like taking a nap or whatever. And you're like, oh, I need to go get food. Like you can just like, it's like a shopping cart. And so like, doo -doo -doo -doo, wheel into the kitchen. Like, okay. <laughs> That's so like my idea in my head, whether or not she'll actually sleep through that, we'll find out. But um, this actually fits in there as well. But I couldn't decide if we were gonna co-sleep or sleep with this guy next to the bed because it actually, the side comes down. So if I can like rest it right up against the bed so that I don't have to get up for nursing and I can just grab her. So I don't know really what we're gonna do. Like, what do you guys do? What do you guys prefer? I think we're just gonna figure out what we like and what works for yeah. us and her. Um, Suggestions are always appreciated. Yeah, but this is really cute. I love this thing and I got it on Amazon and I don't actually know the brand of it. So I will link everything that we talk about in this video in the description box below for you. Next item is um, Freedom Mom Instant Ice Maxi Pads. Also very excited for, for this one personally. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much it says get your vagina on the rocks. I'm down with that. So these basically are like postpartum pads that you can wear to basically like ice your vajayjay. So I was pretty excited at the uh, thought of being able to do that. Vajayjay, vagina. What do you guys call it? There's so many names. <laughs> a padsicle. It says it's a padsicle on the side. So, <laughs> a good name. Oh, it does. That's yeah. rad. Another um, postpartum item is the three-in-one postpartum recovery belt. I haven't opened this yet but I talked about this in my last vlog that I uploaded. And a few of you actually purchased this from Amazon. It had awesome reviews and said you loved it. So I really like it. It's got a stomach belt, a waist belt, and a pelvis belt. And you can kind of wear all of them at the same time. I hear after you give birth, your stomach kind of feels like jello and like it's not attached to anything. Is there one in there or is it three? Like there's it's one three. of those. It? But there's only one in there. No, there's a stomach belt and it's yeah, a piece yeah. by itself that you okay. can wear all by your, all by itself if you want. And then, um, then there's a waist belt and a pelvis belt. So this one goes really low. This one goes higher and this one goes like kind of in the middle. I'm just thinking if I'm not at work for a couple of weeks and I'm not like working out a bunch, like maybe we could both just in, kind of <laughs> suck keep, it all in. Keep it tight, you know, uh. in case. Could be eating a lot of enchiladas. I like enchiladas. I just want to, you know. I haven't seen this one yet. Do you know what it is? Yeah. It is, uh, hello. <laughs> this is called My Breast Friend. My Breast Friend. Um, do not spill that freaking beer on this couch. <laughs> uh, yeah, so basically it's got a cup holder. This wraps around you and makes it so that when you're That's nursing- like a shelf. Uh, no, it's actually a baby shelf. So your baby lays on here and this little this little bump right here supports their head so they can nurse comfortably and your arm doesn't get tired just like holding them up. So I assume you can wear this a few different ways. Obviously, I've never used it, but so many people were like, you need to get this pillow. So hmm. I did. Okay, I'm not gonna grab this actually. I'm just gonna put it on the screen because I don't wanna grab it and there's a lot going on in that box. But it's a Love Every Play Gym and it gives you a little booklet Can I go like for... this? Is it like gonna be like right here? Um, no, it's actually... <laughs> um, I'll try to edit it right there. Yeah. It's basically like a play gym that they can lay in and look at stuff and it gives you a book so you know exactly how to stimulate them and play with them and give them things to look at based on like their age. So it, you're all set up with everything in there. Um, I've heard about this brand, I think like 
there's just a lot of commercials on Hulu and stuff for it and it just seemed like a great item to have. So we actually got this one and a different one and I think I'm gonna return the other one and stick with this one. I just like that it comes with a booklet to kind of help you along with the process because as first time parents, like we don't know what the hell the kid wants to look at at three months old, so give us a little bit of help. Probably the same shit I like to look at still. <laughs> What's that? Boobs and... <laughs> yeah, boobs. This is the last item we're gonna talk about today. Um, I was totally not sure which one of these to get. Um, I had two on my registry because I, I didn't know, but I'm kind of thinking more into the future. And one thing I'd suggest, um, and someone gave me this suggestion, is think about the future when you're making your registry and don't just put a bunch of newborn stuff because they're gonna grow out of that phase really quickly in the blink of an eye and you're gonna just need to buy stuff for toddlers and whatever. So this is a six in one food maker. You can steam different foods, you can puree. <laughs> um, I just really thought this was cool because you could do so many things with it. You can do salmon, um, puree. Uh, so I was thinking forward to like. <laughs> That's the one thing. Salmon, puree. <laughs> well, you can, I'm, there's a picture of a salmon on the side. You oh. can, you know, you can steam like all the vegetables and whatever. There's so, also a picture of a hippopotamus on the side. That's just their logo. For the record, we will not be feeding baby hippopotamus yet. <laughs> Or ever. Also, we're running out of time, but this is cool. <laughs> and this is cool. <laughs> and this is cool. Actually, I, we could talk about that. That's pretty cool. So this is a Frida, Frida baby humidifier. So it does a cool mist, essential oil, and has a nightlight. So it does all three of those things in one. And I have a, quite a few essential oils from Frida. Uh, to go in here for just calming, for better sleep for baby. So um, I just love that it that humidifies cool. and does the essential oil at the same time. I thought that was pretty cool. Also the nightlight, that's pretty rad too. Talk about the Bumbo. Nope, that's, yeah. This is it. Yeah. Um, I, my friend Raylan had this on her story. Is it actually, I'm saying it right, right? Yeah, Bumbo. Bumbo. Um, she had this on her story and I was like, what's the brand of that thing that you had? Because we, you may not know this, but behind the camera, we have two giant islands in the kitchen. And the fact that you can just stick this on the counter um, and I don't, you can stick this anywhere and just baby can sit in it. Obviously it's not for a newborn. Are you about to put this on as a hat? Also, right if you ever go to war, want to be in a movie about <laughs> gladiators. <sighs> you can undo the strap. <laughs> I thought the strap was going to hold it on my head and I was going to look through here, but <laughs> like space balls. <laughs> my pants, dude. Oh, you're going to fucking send me into labor. We need diapers for you too. <laughs> Actually, I literally sneezed earlier when I was sitting on the couch and peed my pants a little bit and you should have seen my face because I was like, did I just piss on our brand new couch? <laughs> uh, there we go. Ladies, he is off the market. <laughs> <laughs> well, this isn't the one I wanted to talk about. Okay, so let me just say this. I got two bottle warmers. One is portable and one is not. So I'll link both of them below for you. We like to road trip to Mexico a lot. We like to do our road trips. We like to camp. So I thought it would be really cool if we had a portable bottle warmer. And um, obviously we needed one here. So um, I got this guy, this is the Ground Z. I think this is the, I think this is not the portable one. This is the, no, this is one you plug in, I believe. It's a water-free bottle warmer, um, precise temp, keep warm and a shared timer. So this one was really good. And again, this was another one of those items that it was really hard to like, I felt like I was researching for hours trying to figure out like pros and cons. Um, so I'll link you guys to the one that is portable as well. And we'll put that in the description box below. Oh, one thing that you were really excited about that I totally forgot to mention is the sleep tent. Oh yeah. yeah. I, yeah. that's gonna be major. I'm forgetting what it's called, but I'll put it on screen. Um, that is in the mail to us right now. It's like a blackout tent for the baby, but it doesn't have a bottom. So you like pick it up. Yeah. Like what do they call those things that a cloak or something that goes over the food when they at like oh, restaurants yeah. have to go food. Yeah. So you like put it over, but it's tall enough to go over like a, the, definitely the dock top, but it can go over like a pack and play. It can go over like 
whatever and it's blackout and they my buddy has one and they like just put it over and the kids like pfft, out like a light yeah so it's really good for like traveling if you're somewhere like you know and it's yeah. light out like when we go to freaking germany her sleep cycle is kind of going to be a little messed up just like ours is so you can bring it and use it huge. for for that sort of thing um i'm kind of like i feel like two ways about it like one way i don't need to raise a child that can only sleep in the pitch black and silent like me because that's literally me and i can't sleep anywhere so i'd like to basically get her used to sleeping when it's still light out and like there's noise and stuff but also i do see it as being super useful for certain situations so it's a tool in the toolbox a tool in the toolbox yeah and again that one is a bit higher priced it's definitely um higher priced item and i was trying to find maybe like a knockoff that was a little bit less expensive but there is no such thing and if you have found one please let me know because um i'll link that for everybody that you know doesn't that just feels like that's just a little out of their budget good did we, did we get everything yeah do you want to show my shelves Shelf? no <laughs> not in this made these really cool shelves i'm sure you you'll see them in an upcoming video they are sweet they're very cool we'll put them in the vlog so if you don't watch the vlogs you're missing out thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you found this useful and found some new items or ready to explore some new items that you can be stoked about as well everything is linked in the description box below and we will uh, see you later keep an eye out for our adventures on the beach with the mockingbird